Meat is murder. <laughs> um, what's meant by that? Is it a mere rhetorical device, a catchphrase that's designed to get our minds working on uh, the implications of harming animals in order to fulfill an unneeded need? In other words, the consumption of meat. We don't really need to eat this stuff. Um, or is it an actual philosophical position that meat is literally murder and that we should feel the same way about um, the killing of animals for food as we do about, say, the killing of human beings, possibly for food as well. Um, but let's just leave out the food bit. Let's just say killing animals is the same as killing humans. That's all very well. I understand that kind of logic. I don't agree with it. To a certain to a certain extent, I suppose I understand it, but I don't agree with it. Um, and the reason for that is, I'm not implying some sort of slippery slope here, but that kind of argument cuts both ways. If meat is murder, and our society is riddled with meat eaters, then we're all a pack of murderers, so we may as well just get over it and make the whole thing legal in all cases. What's the point of having murder of one species illegal and having a murder of another species perfectly legal? Um, you see what I'm saying? Some people just sort of say, no, no, we want to make the consumption of meat illegal. But that kind of meat is murder kind of argument can sort of, well, it can say, let's make homicide legal. Now, I understand that some people are going to object to that and say, oh, don't be absurd. That's hyper hyperbolic to the point of slander. Well, yeah, I suppose maybe it is. <laughs> so is meat is murder, if you want to look at it that way. Let's stick to philosophical, arguable, disputable positions. Um, I understand the need in campaigns of public awareness for catchy phrases. And I'm not talking about catchy phrases here. I'm talking about actual positions. Thank you.